Domestic abuse comes in different forms, ranging from physical, emotional, sexual to financial. The United Nations Population Fund found violence against women and girls to be one of the most prevalent human rights violations worldwide. It says one in three women will experience physical or sexual abuse in her lifetime. Bringing the statistics to Nigeria, one in four women experience abuse. Due to the stigma usually associated to female and male victims of domestic violence, it remains one of the most unreported crimes worldwide for both men and women. And this has far-reaching negative emotional and psychological effects. I sat back um, after my own experience of being a domestic violence survivor. I sat back one day and I felt, what can I do to help the situation? And I felt, well, I don't have the funds to do a refuge, but what I could do is I could start off with a, a helpline and a helpline that is manned by um, survivors like myself and also people who have a passion for domestic violence. So that was how it, it was birthed. And the helpline is, because I, I remember when I was going through it, I felt so isolated and that was the biggest thing for me. So this helpline is just for people to call in, to talk to somebody in confidence, total confidence, even if they're not ready to leave. We understand that it takes eight attempts for anybody to leave a domestic violence situation. So we understand that you might not want to leave. You just want somewhere to talk. We're here to listen. Helping talks. Helping is 80% of the solution. And if you do want somewhere to go, if you have decided that you want to move on, we're also here to help you. We'll refer you to the relevant people who will make it an easy process for you. But more and more, more so, we just want you to know that we're here for you and we believe what you're going through. Timmy Takwe, who surprisingly went through emotional abuse, says... She became a shadow of herself and knew this wasn't what she wanted. I wasn't an emotionally abusive relationship. Of course, that was surprising to me because I've always been very confident and outspoken. So when I found myself in it, I, I couldn't believe the woman I was becoming because I was starting to become a not social person. I was always with my phone, constantly checking for phone calls and messages because my boyfriend would ask, what were you doing? And he didn't pick up your phone. I couldn't talk, if I'm talking on the phone and he's beside me, he's completely quiet. His ears are in that conversation, you know, like trying to listen in to see if you're talking to a guy or a girl, what kind of conversations you're having. So I, I was always on the edge. I was always trying to, and he never made me feel like I was good enough. Many victims of domestic violence endure years of untold sufferings because of their religious beliefs. Is this justifiable? Sometimes there's a challenge is that they say that God hates divorce. That is true. He hates divorce. He doesn't want there to be separation, mainly to protect the sanctity of the marriage and to protect each spouse so that the spouse will also not abuse one another and also not emotionally deprive one another. But when it looks as though it's going to cost life, okay, when somebody is going to lose their life or lose their personality or lose their being on account of violence, I'm sure that the Lord will speak against it and he will allow separation uh, if for a season. And if it is necessary for that separation to be permanent, then so be it, so that life can be preserved. Government, particularly in Lagos State, has been making efforts to assist victims of abuse. I'd like to also let you guys know that we have um, the domestic violence laws in Lagos State, which obviously Lagos State is, a, you know, is of zero tolerance uh, regarding domestic violence. That means men, women, children, we do not encourage abuse of any form. And if you do abuse anybody in Lagos State, you would be um, prosecuted. So um, we also have the domestic violence hotline in Lagos State and obviously that also you know, encourages people who have been encountering or have been victims of domestic violence. Lagos State uh, Ministry of Justice works in, con in concert with, um, we have Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, the ministry. Um, we have Youth and Social Services, the ministry. You know, so all these um, different ministries in Lagos State work together to address the issue of domestic violence. Some, however, Few government can do much more as regards rehabilitation of offenders and better education for young people. You need a lot of mentors, a lot of mentorship for men. A lot of them were in abuse in relationships, as abuse families, fathers beating mothers, it's rampant in Nigeria, but you can learn from that and become better. 
we have a lot of initiatives for women, young women, young girls, but there are not many like that for men, so it's not been addressed. Apart from that, what is the government doing? As far as I'm concerned, I'm sorry to say this, many people in government do the same thing. They actually physically and mentally abuse their wives, sisters, um, um, daughters. You know, if you're a guy or a girl and then you just are having banter by just saying, oh, this girl, look at her, this guy, look at her. It starts, it, it starts from that little. You know, if, you're, if, you feel like, if you feel it's okay to bully at a young age, it can project into actually bullying someone that you care about in a relationship. So domestic violence, I feel like we need to actually have some sort of like programs, starting first of all in schools. I think that education, especially in institutional education, is the best platform to teach people because at the end of the day, these young people are going to grow up and be adults someday. There are early signs of any form of abuse and this should not be taken for granted. For any abuser, you will see the signs when you're dating them and it's signs like controlling you, telling you, monitoring you, trying to change you, checking your phone, checking what you wear, um, having a snappy opinion, you know, those are signs that there's going to be abuse in the relationship. So you, we need to look out for those signs. Don't overlook them because if I had looked out for the signs and listened to the signs, I wouldn't have had to go for 17 years before I decided that it was over. Domestic violence is something that should be curbed to aid in the progress of our developing society. Susan Jasper, Plus TV Africa.